Hello, my name is Problematic, and today I'm going to be going over something that I didn't go over in my tutorial for preserving VDF texture masks, and that is installing the actual plugins themselves. A lot of people understand the video, they get how it all works, but they don't know how to exactly get the plugins to work. Now, what you need to do is, in the description of this video, which I will have both of these in the description, but if you want to go check this video out, I recommend going to this link that'll be in the description. And it should bring you to here. It should be a Mediafire link that you're able to just open. And what you want to do is you want to just download it. And I'm going to close that because this is just a scam thing that randomly pops up sometimes. But you want to install uh, this package. And what it should give you, if I open here, uh, whatever, it should open this. You have a README, which tells you where to put all these. Then you also have the paint.net files, the three that you need, and you have the two GIMP files that you need. Now, I already have these installed, but for demonstration purposes, I'll show you exactly where they go. So what you want to do is, I'd recommend just, if you have a folder right here, I have just my downloads folder. You want to take both of these and just drag them here. So now you have your files. And what you can do now is you want to locate your operating system and program files because both of these default to your program files folder. Not your x86, but just your program folders. Or your program files. And, uh, yeah. So you open this, and then you're also able to just... You open your program files. You scroll down. And you want to find GIMP2. Now, I'm going to be doing these in order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also open this in a new window. And I recommend you do it like this as well. So you just have, you know, everything set up, organized, ready for you to use. So you want to open the GIMP2 folder. And you also want to have your GIMP files ready. These two right here. You're then going to go from GIMP2 to lib. And then GIMP 2.0. And then you're going to have these five. Or however many, I don't know. But you want to man navigate to plugins. And you see I already have these two here. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to drag these and move them here. I'm obviously not going to because I already have them in here. But that's what you want to do for GIMP. Now you want to go back to program files and go down to paint.net. And then you want to go to file types. And there's where your three for here are going to be. This is just a very simple, simple short video. It shows you where these go. And, again, they should automatically load once you open up uh, Paint.net or GIMP. GIMP automatically just will immediately run the files, get them installed for you. And you want to just leave them in their folders. This allows you to access the VTF file type from Paint.net, how I was able to just immediately edit straight from a VTF in the video. And the GIMP plugin allows GIMP to register VTF files as a thing that you can edit, which also includes their mask. I hope this video helped you, and if you need any other help for any other thing, let me know. I'll see if I can make a tutorial on it, because I want to make as many tutorials as I can for all the things that Portal makes you do, which is really annoying. I know it, it's a long process, but I'm here to help if you need me. Contact me through Discord, going to be linked in the description of this video as well. And yeah, I hope that helps.